we're going to find the volume of revolution of a parabola about the x-axis. This is my parabola and uh, I'm going to factor out the x and I will end up with 2 minus x. And that will give, if I set it equal to 0, x will be 0 and x will be 2. So let's sketch that first of all. 0 and 2. And because this is a negative, the parabola is concave down. 0, 2. Okay, and we're going to rotate this around the x-axis. Okay, so it's going to be, area will be pi r squared. r is the y squared, so it'll be pi y squared. Okay, and then we're going to rotate it from 0 to 2. So the volume will be the integral from 0 to 2 of this parabola. Well, I can maybe say y squared dx, first of all. This is it, which will be from 0 to 2 of 2x minus x squared squared, okay, dx. And we're going to take that from 0 to 2, but before we do it, we must expand it, okay. Square this is 4x squared. Product of the 2 is 2x cubed, double it, minus 4 x cubed, square this, x to the fourth, okay, dx. Okay, now let's integrate that. And so that's going to be, add 1, divide by 3, add 1, I'm not going to add anything because when I expand this, I'll get 4x cubed, which is this. Add 1, divide by 5, and we're going to do this from 0 to 2. Okay, so that's going to be 4 times 2 cubed is 8. Okay, all over 3. 2 times 2 is 4, so that will be 16. Uh, 16 times 2 is 32 over 5. Right, now we want to simplify that. And I, I forgot it's got to be a pi, a pi, a pi, a pi, and a pi. Okay, so this is going to work out to 3 times 5 is 15 as the common denominator. And 3 goes into 15, 5. 5 times 4 is 20. So that works out to be 160. And 1 goes into 15 times 16, which is 240. And 5 goes into this 3, and 3 times that is 96 with the pi. Okay, and so that becomes pi. This works out to be 16 over 15, and that's going to be cubic units. Would be the volume of the parabola rotated about the x-axis.